Hello and welcome back to the channel. You may be wondering how we got to this point. Well, so am I. Stay tuned and let's see if we can't find out. Okay, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as promised, I said that I would do a further comparison once I pulled the 9B out of the car. Uh, this is that one where if you saw the video, I discovered that uh, it's not a turbo. It was a turbo, but now it's uh, missing every single blade. So we're going to open this bad boy up and see if we can't figure out what might have happened. But this is going to be a comparison video between the Kinugawa um, TDO4 HL 21H turbos, wheel jammed on in there, they're a hybrid turbo, um, and right off the bat, you can see the physical size differences. Um, the, uh, the 9B just isn't going to ever be able to create nearly as much power as the, uh, as the much larger Kinagawa, um, and that's pretty obvious, but I promised you guys I would get a couple of measurements for you. So we're looking at 1.5 inlet. All right. That is barely anything over here. Because we're looking at 1.5. Two point three five, so almost a full two and a half inch inlet. Uh, the inner diameter is just over two inches, uh, so huge difference there. Um, compressor inlet, same one point five, and here we're at a full two inches again. Uh, so. Much larger on the uh, on the cold side, hot side. There's no real way to get that on camera. We'll just do that. Something uh, here. One point three, one point three, uh, slightly smaller. There's actually a ring inside of there, so I know that this looks bigger, but that orifice doesn't really mean anything because there's a ring that sits right here on the inside. If you've ever taken these apart, uh, you, you can, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and just a look from the back, we're looking at two very different things here. All right. So overall, the uh, first impressions video, I know you guys saw, um, but when you're looking at these side by side, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty obvious. The, uh, the difference between the two turbos. This one's going to be much more capable of making that uh, top end horsepower. So if your goals are more 600 all wheel horsepower uh, and you still want to be on the TDO4 frame, this is as big as it gets on that frame um, before you go to the, uh, the TDO5s for a much different power goal, which, you know, eventually may be the route that I go, but I wanted to, to kind of max out the stock ish uh motor um and the tdo fours um the hot side components for the tdo fives are going to cost a significant increase over being able to keep everything relatively the same uh but yeah this is the uh this is the little breakdown here um and i am going to set this one aside
Okay, I don't actually have a large enough set of snap ring pliers to finish getting this 9B open, so stay tuned. Maybe next week I'll be able to finish this video and show you guys kind of what happens on the inside. But please, if you like this content, uh, like and subscribe and follow along, and I'll have some new videos out every week. Thank you.